Greetings from the CSI EMS license office. It is my joy to contribute towards the project on God's vision of ecologically sound community, a sharing on eco-biblical concerns by the CSI Sinar Department of Ecological Concerns. My deep appreciation to the CSI General Secretary, Advocate Fernandez, and officers of the CSI Synod, and my special appreciation to the director, Professor Matthew Koshi, for a relevant Christian witness. A theological reflection amidst of responses to COVID-19 pandemic dwells on the biblical theme, repentance. The title of the reflection is Repentance in Response to COVID-19. The urgency of every response to the pandemic is a commitment towards others. The immediate needs of the others can be briefed in terms of nutritious food for good health, access to sanitizer, mask, soap, along with other civic amenities such as access to clean water, safe housing for protection. Importance of physical distancing and not to social by court. Livelihood and safe mobility under lockdown. Special care for the safety of the aged, children and pregnant women along with other concerns. There are responses from different quarters such as government, civil society, religious organizations including church and uh, households in addressing needs of the masses in a more concerted ways. There are international collaborations strengthening the native initiatives in their humanitarian responses in India and elsewhere. In such a context, a pertinent question for theological reflection is, does every response to COVID-19 is self-critical in the spirit of repentance? Or is it for self-grandeur? Some reference to COVID relief they highlight mathematical numbers in the name of budget allocation, which of course is a necessity. But there is increasing ambiguity, uncertainty and injustice suffered by the masses. At the moment of crisis, hardly any institute or system owns such people. There are no measures to build confidence among the masses. It all indicates haters between theoretical approach and ground realities of social distancing from the suffering masses. Any response to COVID pandemic cannot be valorized. The stories of responses are stories of meted justice where human sufferings are exorbitant. The propaganda on responses to COVID-19 is in consistence with ever-increasing uncertainty, ambiguities on accepting others as a way of healing. Therefore, a theological discussion on repentance is significant. The story of repented son as narrated in the Gospel of Luke chapter 15 verses 11 to 32 is instructive for our biblical reflections. According to the story, repentance has a beginning and it has an eschatological destination. The son realized importance of Abba house in a context of human uncertainty and disease. Otherwise, 
he was carried away by an ideological opinion on abba house as a stumbling block he realized his realization makes reference to the certainty cherished by the inmates including slaves of assured food supply and dignified life in abba house one of the important aspects of repentance is change of mind through which son realizes of his belonging to the abba house and abba house alone and accordingly he makes his steps forward and not backward the spirit of repentance is in the vision of abba house where belonging to one another is the highest value of justice an interpretative recast on repentance takes away eyes from the abba house which is on earth and directs it to elsewhere in the name of heaven moreover the heaven is placed juxtaposed to the earth the theoretical relevance of such an interpretation is for individual benefits at the cost of community and negation of community sufferings with undue emphasis on individual merits or demerits it is dangerous to reduce life of forming theological theme such as repentance to some ideology repentance is always in the spirit of inspiring to choose life together and leave the company of death as individual it is only possible to learn significance of repentance and life in a company and not individuals in isolation to conclude the covid-19 pandemic teaches us to repent of living for one's own one's self and be thoughtful of community where each one belongs to one another the spirit of repentance is creative and courageous to envision of abba house an alternative to social rejection the spirit of repentance invites each of us to realize of we belongs to therefore we care for each member of our community beyond any borders of caste color gender and nationality our repentance is a reminder of our limitations and our struggles to realize abba house values of accepting one another through which dignity is shared in the community repentance is not something to boast about but it goes along with humility in accepting human limitations and desire to grow together to repent is lifetime commitment which is rewarded time and again and renewed time and again until dignity is restored in the society and it cannot be spiritualized to escape human commitment towards others a mere mathematical number in itself is inadequate without a compassionate heart and courageous hands joining together standing hand in hand with our neighbor where god stands with open hands in a circle of commitment let us commit ourselves to be in solidarity with others in response to humanity and stand to save life amidst of covid-19 pandemic may the lord inspire us to repent and choose life in humility amen